Hi everyone. It's now the 30th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Let me ask you this. What have you asked your parents to do for you this week? Maybe you asked them to buy something special for you in the grocery store or to help you with your homework or, or maybe, you know, permission to go outside and play. If their first answer to you was no, did you ask again? Why or why not? Sometimes we ask again, even when the answer was no the first time. And we do that because sometimes asking works and because we know our parents care about us and want to make us happy. So sometimes we ask more than once. And we can be very persistent with our parents. Persistent is a big word. It kind of means when we're um, being like really firm in our request over a long time or when it's difficult. So sometimes we're persistent with our parents, um, especially when we want something from them. And we do this because we know how much our parents love us and they want us to be happy. In today's gospel, we hear how a blind man's persistence in asking Jesus for help was rewarded. So let's listen to the story from the gospel today. And the man in the gospel, his name is Bartimaeus. And let's see what, um, what he does in asking Jesus. So a reading from the gospel of Mark. May God's word be in my mind, my lips, and in my heart. One day, as Jesus and his disciples were leaving the city of Jericho, there was a blind man sitting by the side of the road begging. His name was Bartimaeus. When Bartimaeus heard that it was Jesus who was walking by, he called out, Jesus, have pity on me, help me. Some of the people who were there scolded the blind man and told him to be quiet. But he shouted even louder, Jesus, have pity on me, help me. Jesus stopped and said, tell the man to come here. So they said to Bartimaeus, have courage, get up, Jesus is calling you. So the man jumped up left his coat by the road, and ran to Jesus. Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said, Teacher, I want to be able to see. And Jesus said, You are healed because you believe in me. Immediately, the man was able to see, and he began, became a disciple and began to follow Jesus on the road. The Gospel of the Lord. And they all say, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So what does Bartimaeus do when he hears that Jesus was passing by? Well, first he calls out and he asks Jesus to have pity on him. And he asked more than once, right? So why was he persistent in calling out to Jesus? And it was because some of the people in the crowd told him to be quiet. And so what does Bartimaeus do when he's told to be quiet? He calls out even more to Jesus, right? And then Jesus stops and calls for Bartimaeus to come to him. What is it that Jesus does and says to Bartimaeus? He gives Bartimaeus his sight back so he can see. And he tells Bartimaeus that his faith has saved him. Bartimaeus continues to call out to Jesus because he believes that Jesus will heal him. Jesus' words to Bartimaeus tell us that our persistence in prayer is a sign of our faith that God wants to save us. What do you think this might teach us about prayer? It's that we should be persistent in our prayer and continue to always bring what we need to God. And we should pray with the confidence that God is going to help us because he loves us so much. So it's really important to always pray. And it's also important to pray that we learn what God wants for us in our life. Okay, so as you pray persistently for what you need, also ask that God guides you, the Spirit guides you in telling you what you need. So let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. And we'll pray for our needs. We'll pray first for the church. We pray for church leaders that they will be guided to fully understand the needs of their people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, 
We pray that leaders in the world will be fair and just in all their decision making. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our country, we pray that all people will do their most to help reduce the spread of infection during the cold season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's take a moment and be persistent in our prayers for those things that we hold in our heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. So let's finish with the prayer, the glory be. It goes like this, glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end, amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.